So today I wanted to make a quick little video about what you can do to make your archive force stand alone. Um, as you can see, I have here two speakers. Um, yeah, and I haven't plugged uh, um, a normal um, power wire inside. I got it with an um, with a battery pack, with a normal power bank. And yeah, I just wanted to to uh, demonstrate how it works. So I got uh, pretty cheap uh, speakers for around 10 euros and, um, and I bought them on Amazon. As you can see, they need um, USB power um, to work. Um, yeah, I didn't um, search especially for um, for cheap for cheap ones. I just wanted to have small speakers, but um, yeah, th there are only um, these kind of speakers with very um, low prices, and they all are USB powered. They can't send um, audio signal via USB. They just um, Get the power of it, but it's not a problem with the archive force because you have your two USB ports. Um, yeah, and the audio signal goes via this adapter, and I needed to um, to adapt the the mini clinker, the micro jack, um, to the um, six point three line. Um, parts. Um, yeah, let's get it together really quick. Oh, I'm sorry. So now we got it, and yeah, um, these connections right here from the speaker to the force aren't uh, permanent connections. Um, I used the three M dual lock system to um, connect this, so you can um, take it away if you want to. goes pretty easy and um, you can snap it back again if you want. You need a, some kind of force. Wait a second. So now we got it back, back to the original position. And yeah, it works normally. And the cool thing um, about this setup is you have stereo sound. The speakers aren't the best in the world. <laughs> like they, they cost 10 euros, so can't expect too good results. But for simple beat making, it's pretty um, cool. Um, by the way, they are from the company Audio Core. Um, yeah, I just found them on Amazon. I think there are also some speakers from Trust in that price range with the size. Yeah, and they work normally. So I just hear the volume. I think the speakers go down to 300 hertz or 200 hertz but you can't expect uh, them to be too bassy uh, because they are so small um yeah and for the um for the power bank i used um the xt power power bank um Make sure you um, have a power bank with 19 volts output. Um, yeah, and I also um, I also got the 3M dual lock connection, as you can see here and here, so I can also um, take it with me if I want to. And some cool thing that um, that I found out is when you uh, remove the 
power bank, you still can um, lay the force normally down on the surface. The, um, the dual lock connection strip that stays on the force um, won't, um, won't affect the flatness of the device on the surface, on your desk. Yeah, and so you got a pretty mobile, um, pretty mobile solution if you want to take it um, to your, to the kitchen or to your living room or outside or something. Um, this is something you could do because um, yeah, I also thought about getting another device because I I I like the force, but I didn't like that it. it's so unmobile that you always need to be on, in the studio with your speakers and must plug it in and it needs so long to preparate. Um, yeah, it needs pretty long preparation time. And so I decided to um, to get a speakers and a power bank and it works pretty nicely. Yeah, if you have questions or something like that, Leave a comment, um, like and subscribe if you want. Yeah, I maybe put the links to the um, to the uh, additional devices um, to the speakers and the power bank uh, in the description, so you can also buy it. I think all in all, it costed around one hundred and twenty euros or something to upgrade. That um, seems like a lot, but the power bank costs like 85 euros or so. Um, that's the main um, cost point in this whole um, bill. So, yeah, it costs a bit, but you have a mobile device, um, very flexible. Yeah, cheers.